Motion be agreed to. The Honourable Dave Grills. Madam Deputy President, Acting President, should say, sorry. Um, I don't know where the, where the Honourable Ken Travis gets some of his idea from, but yeah, I do represent Esperance as part of mining and pastoral, not agriculture, as the Honourable Paul Brown. Um, I'd like to congratulate the Honourable Paul Brown on bringing this motion today and, um, and having heard some of the, the, uh, the rhetoric that's gone on today with regard to funding and what have you, I, I, I sit here and I question some things really, with re especially with regards to the Regional Infrastructure Fund and, and West Australia and the $480 million Gateway WA. I fail to see how a government, federal, state or otherwise, could argue that fixing roads around an airport in Perth benefits Regional WA by allowing regional people to access the airport better. I, I really wonder about that one. But I want to talk today about um, some of the things and, um, and in fact touch on some of the things that the Honourable Ken Baston spoke about in the, in the, uh, the North West, which is also part of my uh, mining and pastoral region. I'd like to talk a bit about the, uh, the intermodal freight terminal in Kalgoorlie Boulder that uh, links in with the port link. And I'd also like to acknowledge the, uh, the efforts of, uh, of Tony Crook who worked tirelessly to highlight the significance of the Portlink project and worked hard to ensure that uh, it stays on the agenda for the next government. The, internet, the intermodal hub will form an integral part of the Portlink and um, as a result, by uh, putting money into that and ensuring that we sp speak and work with the, uh, the federal government to, to ensure that that funding is spent in regional WA, the money that comes out comes back into regional WA. Because it it's anticipated that the facility will be funded jointly by federal government and state government, private industry, and would operate as, a, as an independent body similar to a port authority on a not-for-profit uh, basis. The project involves the development of rail sidings and rail unloading facilities together with road transport facilities. The location of the hub needs to be able to cater for the development of nearby transport depots and warehousing. And obviously, if you, uh, if you sit at the railway crossing in uh, Kalgoorlie Boulder and wait for the train to go past, a lot of the stuff that goes past on the train ultimately comes back to Kalgoorlie on the road system. So, at the moment, the Department of Transport is currently undertaking community and stakeholder consultation process for the uh, proposed intermodal terminal uh, rail and hub realignment programs. The uh, realignment program will ensure that the railway line is realigned through Kalgoorlie Boulder and, and creates safer access and reduces the, uh, the risk of vehicle versus train and interaction on the roads and obviously have a, uh, a benefit that way. Other than that, there's, there's, there's many other benefits that can be, uh, can be bought from the, uh, the progress of this project. And the Portlink has the potential to int introduce and increase opportunities for new mines in the Yulgarn and Midwest region by opening up the new access and uh, routes to export ports. Also, hopefully it will attract more business to Kalgoorlie Boulder area with the new, with the new through the new intermodal freight terminal and link inter and interstate roads and railways and provide Kalgoorlie Boulder and the Goldfields Esperance District with the opportunity to uh, to diversify and look into other other areas of operation and uh, and perhaps mitigate the uh, the impact of the cyclic mining um, process boom or bust and it also introduced alternative freight and logistic options an alternative to Perth as a central distribution point for interstate freight recently whilst I was up in um, up in the northwest and speaking to uh, businesses in, in Derby. I spoke to a fellow who has a, uh, a business there and quite a, 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 um, a diverse business with articles that he has and he was, he was telling me how that just to get freight to his, his, um, his business, you know, the rigmarole that he had to go through to get it there and it cost here and cost there. So what we'd really like to see is we'd really like to see businesses like that in regional WA. We'd like to see them help through better transport options and and, and better ways of doing business and helping them. And so, you know, the, the call to do that and ask the federal government to commit to that is not something that is too far beyond the, um, beyond the realm of possibility, I would hope. Um, and just going on what the Honourable Ken Baston spoke about, the Tanami Road and, um, 
and Kununurra and, and the Ord River and the, the potential for the agriculture and, and things that we have there. I, I, I would agree with that and, and hope that, yes, irrespective of uh, what, it, uh, what we might have heard before, I would hope that the, uh, the state government and the federal government and the national coalition in, uh, in the federals would work towards to do that because the potential up there would benefit not only the, uh, the Kimberley, but it would benefit everybody in that. And what we would see from that, as the, uh, the Honourable Steve Dawson would attest, is better opportunities for Aboriginal people and Aboriginal businesses and things like that by opening up that area and, in fact, spending some money on the Tanamai Road. It's one of those projects that needs to be uh, kept on the, uh, on the front burner and people in the eastern states will be reminded of. And I, I do hope that um, Rick Wilson and, and Melissa Price do stand up for uh, regional WA, as, as they have said, and I do hope that they do go and talk to their uh, colleagues in federal government and ensure that, that regional WA does get the funding that it needs, because I'm sure we all don't need reminding of from all sides of the house today when Tony Crook and Bob Catter sat on that side of the house seeking a better deal for GST for regional WA and they sat alone. So I would, I would, I would put it to any, any member of parliament and congratulations on them getting there. I would put it to them that they do actually honour what they said to the people of regional WA and do actually get up there and stand up there and support and shout for regional WA no matter what side they're from because regional WA, I believe, really should do a lot better than we do out of uh, federal funding. Thank you.